Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Welcome to the Weekly Bat, episode 79. We have a major, major, major announcement this week as Bat unveils its Bat Roadmap 2.0, which features a Brave Dex aggregator, discounts when using Bat for transaction fees, discounts for Bat holders, and Bat utility for search engines, as well as a new Brave wallet and more. Here's a little bit from the official announcement. Useful roadmaps set direction and list goals and requirements. More important, the roadmap reflects the expectation of unforeseen terrain and unexpected innovations likely to emerge, rather than starting from an unrealistic fixed architecture and too near-term set of implementation choices. The map is not the terrain, so each roadmap will age past a certain point of usefulness. This has been the case with the Bat Roadmap 1.0 published on June 18th, 2017, shortly after our basic attention token launch. This 2.0 roadmap intends to cover the next year to 18 months. An important point that we wish to reiterate and emphasize here. As with the Brave browser, all Bat platform work excludes by construction any tracking or targeting by remote ad servers or exchanges. Up next, get Brave Beta and help test upcoming features in Brave. Brave Beta is an early version of Brave that showcases soon-to-be-released features and the newest advances we're bringing to your browser. We value your feedback and would love your help with testing these new additions before they become available to the general public. Brave Beta is stable enough for daily use. It automatically sends us crash reports when things go wrong, so you can browse normally and we'll handle the rest. However, if you want to provide specific feedback or report on any issues you encounter, you can do so at the link provided in the Weekly Bat blog post. Note that all of our Brave browser builds can be installed and run in parallel. Installing Brave Beta will neither disrupt nor overwrite existing Brave installations on your device. Your support and feedback mean a lot to us, and you can download Brave Beta at brave.com slash download dash beta. That's brave.com slash download dash beta. Up next, Scott Cunningham, creator of Crypto and Things, wrote on Twitter earlier this week, Wow, with the help of Brave ads, I managed to go from 3K subs on YouTube to 5K in a very short time. I'm so grateful and overwhelmed with the success. That's awesome. I love seeing creators of all sizes thrive and boost their platforms as a result of Brave ads. If you have a business of any size, or you have your own channel or website, and you want to learn firsthand about how Brave ads can boost your business, then you should check out brave.com slash brave dash ads. Up next, a user by the username 6 Easy Pace on Reddit is bringing fitness to the bat community. Ooh, we love this new initiative. This post is the second of two posts on the topic, and here's what it says. Following up from my previous post where I shared a simple program to get you started easily on your fitness journey. This week's post will be short and sweet. I would like to create and tailor free training programs to anyone who is interested to get started on running or fitness in general. Hit me up in my DMs with the following. Why do you want to get fit? What are your goals, short and long term? And how much time generally do you have in a day? P.S. As usual, my passion is running and I hope to be able to share my love for it with everyone in the Bat community. I will be sharing weekly content on fitness and running via this subreddit, so leave me a tip if you like it. This is an amazing, amazing initiative, and sounds like a really good excuse to get some of us who spend too much time sitting off of our bums as we are still in quarantine and haven't been moving as much as we should. Please visit the link in the weekly Bat blog post to visit Six Min's Easy Pace's profile on Reddit and send them a tip if you like what they're doing. And be sure to check back on the Bat Project subreddit weekly for their fitness segment. Finally, I would encourage anyone else who has creative ideas about how we can engage the community while also employing the bat to share those ideas with us on the Bat Project subreddit. This week in Sponsored Images. This week, The Motley Fool joins Brave's Sponsored Images rotation. In addition, PayPal, BlockFi, Crypto.com, Trezorit, BitPay, Gala Games, and Bybit all return to the new tab page following the success of their recent sponsored images campaigns. Our ever-expanding list of new tab page sponsors includes 
Verizon, Intel, Newegg, Western Digital, The Home Depot, Chipotle, Khan Academy, Coinbase, American Eagle, and more. To learn more about how sponsored images can help promote your business, check out our case studies page at brave.com slash brave dash ads slash case studies, all one word. That's brave.com slash brave dash ads slash case studies, all one word. Brave Creator Spotlight, in partnership with Everipedia. This week's featured creator is BitBoy Crypto on YouTube. BitBoy Crypto's content is all about, as you might imagine, cryptocurrency news, namely Bitcoin, and trading tips. The channel recently surpassed 500,000 subscribers. Here is the channel description from BitBoy. BitBoy Crypto is the place where you can get the latest crypto news, project reviews, and cryptocurrency trading advice. Learn about different altcoins, historical Bitcoin cycles, and get the latest Ethereum news. Come be part of our community, which we call the Bit Squad. We have links to BitBoy Crypto's YouTube channel, as well as to BitBoy's Everipedia page, where you can learn more about the creator in the weekly Bat blog post. Bat and Brave in the news. This first piece is by Tech Radar. Brave will soon help you purchase crypto at the best possible price. Privacy-centric web browser Brave is working on a new feature that will help users purchase crypto at the best possible rates via decentralized exchanges or DEXs, a new roadmap for the company's own digital token reveals. In a blog explaining its ambitions for the basic attention token, which is awarded to Brave users for viewing ads, the company set out plans to integrate a decentralized exchange aggregator into the platform. The aggregator will compare rates across a number of DEX services, helping users to secure the most favorable price for each trade, and marks the company's first foray into the world of decentralized finance, or DeFi. This next piece is by Cointelegraph. Brave unveils plans for DEX aggregator and NFT wallet in Next Browser. Crypto-powered web browser Brave has unveiled its Roadmap 2.0, laying out plans for an integrated DEX aggregator and non-fungible tokens support. Brave's new roadmap highlights the company's desire to integrate DeFi functionality into its wallet and explore scaling solutions for the project. Brave's new Ethereum native wallet will support DeFi and NFT use cases, in addition to introducing mobile support and enhanced API functionality. The planned DEX aggregator will seek to reward BAT token holders, offering discounts to users that pay for transaction fees in BAT or hold tokens in their wallets. News from our partners. This piece is from Crypto Daily. Origin Protocol and Blau's partnership makes NFT history. World-renowned musician and top blockchain influencer Blau launched an NFT drop on February 26, 2021 on Origin Protocol's DShop platform amidst extreme anticipation from the NFT community. The two-day auction ended on a feverish pitch on February 28th, recording the highest bid at a single NFT auction. The auction featured the ultraviolet vinyl NFT collection in order to commemorate the three-year anniversary of his album release. Origin Protocol tweeted saying, History has been made. The auction for the world's first tokenized album has finished. Built by Origin Protocol and powered by DShop, Blau sold 33 unique NFTs for a total of $11 million. This is a new record in a single NFT auction. This next piece is by our partner Gala Games and is titled Mirandus Monday, The Sound of Music. Most people remember the first serious musical performance they attended. In preparation for this post, we polled some of the Gala Games team to see which performances marked their initiation into the world of music. From the classic Pink Floyd concert attended by Eric Schirmeyer and a Stevie Ray Vaughan concert for Lucas, to Jason's Avril Lavigne concert, Nina's The Bangles concert, and best of all, Michael McCarthy rapping along to a cassette recorder at the Armory before he ever saw a concert of his own. Suffice to say, the Gala Games team knows how important music is to the everyday life of most humans. Music is typically seen as a part of the gaming experience, with a great deal of effort going into creating musical accompaniment in-game. However, what this means is that game developers can often leave aside some of the more subtle atmospheric effects needed to create a truly immersive game. This is why, for Mirandus, we are going in an entirely different direction. We want to enable players of Mirandus to create music in a way that deepens immersion, not breaks it. Be sure to check out the rest of the post, which is linked in the Weekly Bat blog, to find out what this means. 
That's a wrap for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you would like to read the full stories whose headlines we cover on the podcast, be sure to read the accompanying Weekly Bat blog post. You can find that on batcommunity.org always. Or if you're listening on YouTube, check the description box below the video for a link. And if you're listening on a podcast app or player, check the show notes. 